Bueno, lo prometido es deuda. Lucas Gordon, todo suyo. Vamos por ahí. Vamos, 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 que ya tenemos a nuestro invitado especial. Tuvimos que poner una entrevista con la vocalista de The Runways, eh, simplemente para poder tener listo a nuestro querido invitado especial del día de hoy. Y hoy tenemos a una leyenda, leyenda significa legend en, en español, para que más o menos se entienda. Comenzó Helix en el año 1974, yo no había nacido. 14 discos de estudios, más de 30, más de 30 en, to en total entre discos en vivo y grandes éxitos. Más de 30 músicos pasaron por Helix. Su hits, Rock You, lo llevó a tocar por todo el planeta. Luego de su éxito vino la ruina, vino el desenfreno, se reinventó y hoy continúa a cargo de una de las bandas más populares del mundo, oriundos de Canadá. Así que, bueno, tenemos a nada más y nada menos que a nuestro invitado especial del día de hoy, Brian Bolmer de Helix. ¡Brian! How are you doing, brother? I'm doing great. A little tired. Uh, it's uh, 10 o'clock here. We're in Ontario. Uh, it's uh, pretty cold outside. I've been involved with a charity for the uh, past month, and uh, we're just wrapping up tomorrow. Nice, nice. Bueno, le estaba preguntando cómo estaba. Tienen un evento de caridad que ahora le voy a preguntar un poquito de qué se trata, que es mañana. Mañana means tomorrow, ¿ok? Es mañana y él nos va a decir un poquito qué va a pasar mañana. Sé que es algo relacionado en Estudio 73. Va a ser a las 5 de la tarde en hora de Ontario, así que será a las 6 de la tarde en Puerto Rico, 7 de la noche, si no me equivoco, en Argentina y... Dos de la tarde acá en Los Ángeles. Él nos va a comentar un poquito. Yo les doy un poquito el anticipo. Tell us about the, the event tomorrow, please, uh, Brian. Well, there's a young uh, boy in town here who was hit by a, a car and left paralyzed. And uh, we're oh. trying to raise money so he can go to Michigan for stem cell treatment. And um, hopefully it'll lead to him walking again, talking again. Wow. Bueno, hubo un accidente. Un chico quedó paralizado y la tienen que hacer, lo tienen que, eh, eh, bueno, le tienen que hacer determinadas cirugías y están eh, haciendo, bueno, tratando de eh, reca recaudar dinero para que él pueda ir a Michigan a, a operarse. Eh, I, I know Liaron donated something, right? Eh, la cantante Liaron donó un montón de cosas. Pardon, say again. Liaron. She, she donated. Oh, yeah, Liaron. Liaron's going to be on, and uh, so uh, Al Harlow, Todd Kearns of Slash, uh, Danko oh. Jones, jeez, um, uh, um, a lot of local acts, so it's going to be a great night. You can tune in by going to uh, www.planethelix.com. That's planethelix.com. Tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just go to uh, that, that website, and uh, you'll see all the acts. Bueno, nos dice que aparte de Liar va van a estar varios, va a estar Todd Kearns de Slash, eh, Deacon Jones, eh, van a haber varios actos locales y bueno, obviamente todo esto organizado por Brian, pueden ir a Planet Helix, ok, Planet Helix .com, ok, Planet, no Planeta, Planet Helix .com, y a las 5 de la tarde, horario, <ríe> horario Ontario, 2 de la tarde, en Los Ángeles, ya como dije, 6 de la tarde, no, si no me equivoco, es una hora más en Puerto Rico, 7 de la tarde Argentina y entre ese medio creo que sería 4 de la tarde en México. Así que para todos ustedes pueden meterse, no tienen que estar en Ontario, pueden estar en cualquier parte del planeta y pueden disfrutar de este evento y colaborar para recaudar dinero. All, all, all the publicity done, ¿ok? Anything else you want to say about the event? Uh, no, that's about it. We're just trying to raise twelve thousand bucks as our goal, right? And okay. To, I think we're going to at least do that. We're over eight thousand dollars already, probably closer to nine thousand dollars. And tomorrow's a big push. Nice. So nice. it's so, like down there. The weather? Yeah. Oh well, you know, I live in, in Los Angeles. It's it's sunny uh -huh. every day. I know. Son, we we have we have. Are you are you with Fahrenheit or Celsius? 
We're in Fahrenheit, but whatever. Uh, it's freaking cold. Okay, okay. We we had probably seventy six today, and it's winter. Oh yeah. We're so if you want to come over, huh? We're below zero. We're freezing. Thank you, thank you. I'll pass. I rather I used to live in a very cold city, which is in Argentina, Mar del Plata, and I love it. But I like I I I'd rather to have I rather to have you know spring well, I, springtime. My wife and I live in Florida in the winter, so not this yeah. winter. But usually we're in Florida. You you are smart. You are smart. Down by Stat Howland from Wasp. Oh really? Yeah, Stat Howland. He's with Metal Church now, and Stat he's used in to be church. down there, and I used to hang out with Stat while I was in uh, Fort Myers. You know what? I interviewed Stead a few times, and he's a Great very guy. nice guy. Yeah, yeah. I I asked him personally once, how can you? How, how did you make? I mean, how was playing was? Because I know how cool is he, and and you know, black is uh, different. <laughs> And and he was like, no, I, I'm not gonna play in that band anymore. You know, <laughs> it was funny. So uh, I hear you are writing a book. Estamos, ah, I'm sorry. Let me let me translate a little bit. Eh, me preguntaba cómo estaba el, el clima acá. Le dije que acá está más cálido que allá. Me, me dice que está por debajo de cero, que se está muriendo de frío, que normalmente se va a Florida, al estado de Florida con su esposa a pasar el invierno. Este año no lo hicieron. Eh, eh, me dice que cuando va a Florida está cerca de Steve Holland baterista, fue baterista de Wasp, está con Metal Church ahora, y que le dije, bueno, una vez le pregunté cómo era lidiar en Wasp, me dice, no, no voy a tocar nunca más en Wasp. Eh, le voy a preguntar acerca del libro, y después vamos a pasar al acerca del nuevo disco, It's, It's Sleep and Rock, pero primero vamos a preguntarle acerca del book. Are you writing a book? I hear something about that, right? I am writing a book, yes. I'm writing a book about the Canadian bar circuit. Uh, when we started out in the business in 1974, you used to be able to travel right across Canada and play through the uh, the bars, and you'd, you'd play six, seven nights a week, uh, usually six nights, and then on the seventh day, you'd travel. In Canada, there's large distances between the cities. For instance, it's a it's a 24-hour drive from Toronto to uh, Thunder Bay, uh, Ontario, and so uh, Sundays were always drive days for us, and uh, the club scene back there developed us, um, you know, we had to learn how to play our instruments, how to sing by playing three to five sets a night, uh, six nights a week. Wow, wow. Bueno, eh, el, li el libro se lo está escribiendo realmente y que eh, cuenta un poquito lo que, los comienzos en el año 74, que tocaban tres, cuatro, varias veces al día, a veces seis días a la semana, que solo les queda el domingo para, para manejar porque las distancias en Canadá son grandes, es un país muy, las ciudades están muy, muy separadas y por ejemplo de Ontario a, a Thunder Bay son 24 horas manejando, así que es una locura. Eh, le voy a preguntar cuándo se va a editar. When is going to be released the the book? Well, I'm just starting it now, so I imagine it's oh. going to take a while, right? And uh, I'm looking for a publisher right now. I might have uh, something going there. I'm waiting to hear back from them. And uh, but regardless, I want to get through this charity. Uh, basically, February was consumed by this charity, and now yeah. that's going to be done on Sunday, then I'm going to start uh, working on the book more and uh, other things that, that have to be done around here. Right. Bueno, recién estaban está, está ocupando por el, el tema de, del evento de caridad y que ahora que termina va a poder concentrarse. Recién lo empezó a escribir. No hay una fecha de edición todavía. Uh, va a ser en español. Is going to be in Spanish also or just English? Um, we'll have to see. I have to brush up on my Spanish. I know what mañana means, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell it's, my wife when she tells me I got to clean shit up around here. It's a good beginning. Mañana. Mañana. Okay, well, I can help you with that. You know, you can rely on me. We, 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 we. We didn't came along for the life, where, but you are like a brother to me, okay? So 
So you can rely on me, I and mean, if you need uh, help with the Spanish, I can help you, okay? Okay, well, if I go to Argentina, I'll take you along with me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear well, Argentina is very nice. Yeah, mm. yeah, I can tell, okay? If you ever go to Argentina, please, also, let me know. I will give you, you know, some I, tips. I go to an Argentinian restaurant in uh, North Fort Myers. It's our favorite restaurant. It's called, really? El, it's called El Gaucho. El Gaucho, ah. For those, guys, the, on, for those guys on the Pampas. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And what hey, do you eat man. usually? Huh? What do you eat usually? Uh, well, we usually when we go to that restaurant, we get a big bowl of soup, and there's uh, cra like a full crab right in right in the soup, and it's got that very spicy. Uh, uh, um, it's actually an Argentinian, an Italian. And uh, Peruvian, I think, food. Oh, what a mix! Yes, because I, oh. I guess in Argentina there's a lot of Italians, is there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. A lot. I think the uh, the owner of the the restaurant is Argentinian. Well, uh, chances are that might be well. There are more chances that might be either Italian or Spaniard. Than uh, any, think, anywhere else. You check it. El Gaucho in El Gaucho. Uh, in Fort Myers. Okay, okay. That's well, a restaurant. If I ever go to nearby your area, that I I hope so. I will. We I we're gonna get and some food to, there. You'll have to come visit us. Yeah, of course, of course. So let's talk about the, the new album. Ok, estamos hablando un poquito de que él va al gaucho, es un restaurante eh, ahí por donde vive él, y que toma una sopa con no sé qué cosa que no le entendí, y que los dueños son argentinos y tienen cosas italianas y también un poco comida. Sí, sí, sí. Y hablando de comer, eat, comer, ok, vamos a hablar de Eat Sleep Rock, Yeah. El nuevo disco, no sé si lo tenemos ahí, no, no, no te lo pasé la foto, bueno, si después lo puedes sacar de la manga, Fisu, it's sleep, ah, lo tengo acá, give me one second, I have it here, because uh, Matt uh, from Paris sent me this, ok, we already promoted, ok, look, look what I have, since I, I have to brag what I have from Elix, well, I have this, Argentinian edition with Spanish uh, titles, ¿ok? <laughs> es caminando por el filo de la navaja, walking, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the... Is it a bootleg? Okay. Is it a bootleg? No, 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 it's, it's origin, it's, it's AMI. Really? Yeah, the thing is, back then, in the 80s, uh, most of, uh, until the 90s, Most of the releases were in Spanish, like Beatles. Also, right. there's a very few uh, albums in Argentina that also the Beatles, the name of the band, was translated into Spanish. Right. So not even Beatles. I just never so, saw huh? I never saw many of them. Oh no. Okay. No, we never saw what any I, Spanish, which makes me think I, that maybe the record company didn't want us to know. Well, maybe. Uh, maybe what I can yeah. do is ne next time. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Next time that I'm going to Argentina, I will see if I can get a second one. Okay. And you send know, Catholic Light doesn't exist anymore. No? No. They got bought oh. out by Universal. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so there's no more Capital Records, no more EMI. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Universal took over the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so well, hopefully they will re-release something uh i didn't uh, talk i mean there's any uh, chance to re-release something well universal came out with the icon uh record which was like a best of yeah the icon but they're not but they're not re-releasing uh individual titles like no rest of the wicked uh walk into razor's edge uh, wild in the streets and a uh, long way to heaven oh, okay the titles they own yeah I don't have any of those. What what I have here is this one. Back for another taste. Yeah, half alive. Half alive. I think I think all these you sent me all these when yeah all of these you sent me back then when you when you release it. Yeah. Uh, I was, have. What was that skin in the game? 
uh, skin in the game. Yeah. Uh, this one I mark the the songs that I like. One nine and yeah. And this one. Yeah. It's the best That's... of. Thank thank you for sending sign it because I love autographs. You saying bag on bones. Bag on bones. That's yeah. It's a good Metal album. Crisp. It is. That's a good album. I like that album. Yeah, I like yeah, I love it. And yeah. I don't know if you send it, you send it with this, or I put the uh, the, the 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 color tray, you know. I don't know. It might have been from Tom. Yeah, yeah, Tom. Hey, saludo, Tom. Paris Records. Buy CDs on Paris, please. Buy Helix, the new album. Okay, so heavy metal, and I have this one. You send me this one. You send me this one. What is this one? Oh, this is the promo. You send me the promo yeah. too. Mm-hmm. And get up. Yeah, I, I still have the the press release. So let's talk about Eat Sleep Rock. You know what? Why the name Eat Sleep Rock? Why? Why? Why the, the name of the album? Awesome. So, yeah. So, uh, tell me, tell me about the name of the album. Why it's sleep rock? Why, was, why not? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe I was coming with another idea about maybe it sting snore, but you decided it's sleep uh, rock. Well, I heard the phrase. I really liked the phrase. And uh, Sean Kelly and I had written a song about a year previously, and we had not hadn't really finished it off. And when uh, I decided to put this album out uh, to carry us over to the next full studio album, that was the original plan, uh, we uh, decided to finish off the song, and then we added uh, 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 the story of Helix, and the rest of the yeah. album with uh, some of my favorite songs off some of the albums. I think we might actually do an Eat Sleep Rock Volume 2 and put it out oh. as well, yeah. Bueno, le pregunté... So, this yeah. helped it very well for us. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Eh, le pregunté un poquito acerca de, bueno, primero hice un poco de alarde de los discos que tengo de él. Todos esos los que me mandó, salvo los viejitos, todos me los había mandado él, algunos firmados, y le agradecí por eso. Eh, le empecé a preguntar por qué, por qué It Sleep Rock, el nombre, y me dice, bueno, en realidad tenemos una canción que me gusta la, la frase, y tenemos una canción con Sean Kelly, que Sean Kelly es de la banda Crash Kelly y también estuvo en Helix. Y, y bueno, al final no terminamos con ese tema. La idea era para sacar un, un disco nuevo y no se dio. Sacamos este, una especie de grandes éxitos que tiene tema de los 90, creo, para adelante. No tiene toda la parte vieja. Y aparte hace una referencia a la historia de Helix que tarda 7 minutos. ¿eh? Es un medio rap con la historia de él. Ahora le voy a preguntar por eso. Eh, how was doing this uh, history of uh, Helix in like a sort of a rap song? Well, I was listening to the uh, 1981 version of uh, Helix Live at the Elma Combo, which is a very famous bar in Toronto. And uh, back then we had a lot of raps that were naturally evolved in the set uh, from playing in the bars for so many years and i like the idea and i started toying with the idea for the uh, acoustic show while i was down in florida and it just started to get longer and longer and longer and but i memorized it all it ended up being seven and a half minutes and when i got back i took it and i i did it uh with daryl at his studio uh up in st Catharines, ontario and uh the the main purpose of that song was essentially to start the acoustic show with. Uh, we come on oh. stage, and uh, I just literally I start talking. I do that rap all the way through, and uh, uh, a member at a time they come out on stage and they add the sound effects in the background. Uh, you know, Fritz and the other people that are in the show, and and so that's how that song ties in with with the live acoustic show and why it ended up in this album. Wow. Bueno, me contaba, nos contaba que 
Eh, creo que hay una versión del año 81, si no me equivoco, que, bueno, le fui agregando cosas y la idea era es cuando hicieran, cuando hacían un, disc, un, un concierto acústico, que la, en el momento de que los músicos empiezan a entrar a acomodarse, él empezaba a hacer este rap que cuenta la historia en siete minutos, se fue agrandando obviamente, dice, obviamente a medida que pasa el tiempo, se va eh, agrandando y hace un poco la historia de, eh, de Helix. Eh, estoy viendo el video ahí. <ríe> That's you, right? <ríe> That's me, not one of my better moments. Ok, nice. Um, well, since you, you were talking about this, the history of, of Helix, I was wondering why not a movie or a documentary about the band. ¿Por qué una, una película, un documental de la banda? Well, eventually we probably will do one. Uh, we, we did have a, uh, um, a video out, a DVD, a couple of years ago. It was kind of the history of the band. Up to that point, I think it was called, uh, it'll come to me. Uh, I think it's Give Me an Hour or something like that. Ok, ok. Bueno, habíamos hecho una, un DVD, un poco un documental que se llama Give Me an Hour. Maybe now you mentioned that, I think I got it. I totally mm -hmm. forgot about that. We'll probably do another one because I have a, an amazing glut of film that goes right back to the beginning of the band and uh, all sorts of stuff that wasn't in that first DVD. But that's part of the problem. I got so much stuff like what do you keep and what do you throw away? It's been a long career. We've met a lot of fantastic people. Everybody yeah. from Robin Williams. We've done dates with Rush. We did a whole European tour with Kiss. We played with White Snake, uh, Quiet Riot all one summer, except in Peel, and I know so many other great groups and uh, so many great memories. And um, so part of the problem is just sifting through it all and and deciding what we're going to keep in, in a film like that and without boring people. You know, you still don't want to drag it on for like hours and hours, right? You want to keep it, I would imagine, not too much longer than an hour long. Eh, tenemos un montón de material, eh, encontramos material antiguo que queremos incluir, así que estamos, estaremos trabajando en nuevo en contenido visual eh, en formato documental. Eh, hemos girado con muchas bandas, ahí mencionó varias de ellas. Y bueno, este, en algún momento tal vez saquemos un, un, una, una historia un poquito más completa. Eh, los videos de él tienden a ser eh, bastante divertidos, como el que estamos viendo. Si querés ponerlo, fijo de vuelta, el It Sleep Rock, eh, mientras hablamos un poquito de eso. Le voy a preguntar acerca de este video y, y, y la tendencia de, de que los videos son divertidos. No, este no es, eh, el, es el que estaban bailando todos ellos. Um, Brian, um, usually uh, this video, I love it because I love the way that is uh, the dynamic, okay, uh, speeding up a little bit. How did you do that? I mean, I know Brian worked on this, right? <laughs> Pardon, say it again. I'm sorry? I don't know what the last question is you asked me. Oh, well, Brian, Brian did, Brian work in this album, Brian Dorner, right? No, no, that's Fritz in the drums. Oh, Brian, uh, Brent Dorner, yes. Oh, oh Brent. Brent Sorry, Dorner. Brent Dorner. Yeah. Oh, see, there's, there's, it, there's two identical twin brothers. There's Brent and Brian. Both were right. at one point. Brian I actually, get confused all the time. Uh, Brian actually drummed for the band Saga. Uh, do you know Saga down there? Saga, yeah. I love Saga. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the, <laughs> I call this, uh, it looks like we're squirrels on a uh, crystal map. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's amazing. When I saw it first time, and, and I love the way that the sound, I mean, the, the, the singing yes. is not high pitch because it's all fast, fast mm. beat, you know, and, and still the sound, I mean, I don't know, how, how did you do that? How was that? How was exactly doing? The technical stuff behind it, but I know they slowed the track down half half speed without slowing the, the sound down. I don't know how Brent did that. Uh, but when I saw the effect, I love the effect. And because of COVID, we were locked down. So we, we couldn't come to all to one place and, and film anyway. So we ended up coming in one at a time to Brent's house in uh, Kitcher, Ontario. And we did it on green screen. And then Brent took all five people and we finally had, 
and the and the the hard thing to do about this was we had to do the song from beginning to end without stopping. We we're going half the speed, and to get the, the the to make the effect look good, you had to go half the speed, but yet do twice the amount of movements. So say you were going like this, right? Then you take your hand and go like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. That. So it was, it was kind of uh, screwed up, but um, we wa- we we were able to watch it back until we got the movements right. And then we'd have to go all through the song. So when you went through the song, uh, slowed down, it was seven and a half minutes long or something. It was really long, right? So by the time we were done, we were like out of breath and sweating and like, <laughs> it, but it, it came out good. Yeah, yeah. Bueno, eh, estamos hablando de, del efecto del video, que el tema, el tema es que lo tuvieron que grabar cada uno por separado porque estaban en encierro, entonces eh, cuando iban con, con Brent, eh, no, lo fui grabando cada uno, y el tema es que tenían que hacerlo todo a mitad de tiempo para que se haga el efecto correcto, entonces tenían que ir más o menos midiendo eh, cómo lo, lo iban haciendo, y imagínense que si el tema es de tres minutos y medio, tenían que estar bailando, moviéndose por siete minutos, y, y terminaban hechos pelota, todo sudado, entonces fue un trabajo enorme, y salió eso, es decir, cada uno ahí pareciera que estuviera, eh, ¿ve cómo se van terminando todos cada uno? Bueno, parecía que están todos juntos, pero no, eran todos por separado, muy bueno, muy bueno, muy bueno, ahí está todo, sí, sí, qué bueno, me encanta. I love, I love the end, you know, that scene, a little bit of behind the, the, the scenes, you know, well, with the green screen. In the front's basement. The basement? Oh, ok. Film in the basement of his house. Fue filmado en, en, el, en el sótano de la casa de, de Brent. Eh, why, why? I mean, I, I remember also the other, the other um, song that you were, you were promoting about the rock not dead, something like that, about Gene Simmons. Also, it's a funny video. Usually, you tend to go in that direction, at, at least with the last videos, right? Well, I think it's keeping really in the tradition of Helix videos. You know, if you look at way back to the Rock You video, The idea behind that video uh, that the producers have was to do a video that kind of looked like the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah, right. So I had someone con- uh, comment on that. That video looked kind of cartoonish, and I went, well, our videos have kind of always been like that, you know? Um, and and um, I don't know, you just have to try to do it without look, making it look too cheesy or uh, schmaltzy, right? right? But uh, I think when we did the Gene Simmons video, we got across the, the point we wanted to make in that song, and that is that the music business, getting into it, isn't all about money for kids. It's about making music. It's about meeting chicks. It's about the lifestyle. It's about, the, uh, you know, living the life of a rock and roll gypsy. Uh, and my point with that song was that Gene was trying to say that, you know, the music business is dead. Which, which to an extent, he's very true. Uh, is very true. Right? But my point is that you're still going to get just as many kids picking up a guitar because they don't do it for money. They do it for love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree on that. Eh, el tema that's, que hizo. And that's, not a cornier, and that's not a corny or cartoonish thought, right? And uh, and so that that's what we were trying to get across in that video. So it might come off with kind of like a you know. A tongue in cheek kind of chuckle, but it, there was a very serious point we were trying to make there. Okay. Eh, lo, que, lo que nos contaba es que eh, los videos históricamente en Helix fueron con una un dejo de, de que si, siempre tendieron a ser divertidos. De hecho, Rock You tiene esa onda, los pica piedras, ¿ok? Flintstones y que incluso tiene un, un pareciera, es, es actuado, pero pareciera tipo dibujos animados, eso es lo que comprendí. Y que eh, con Rock is not dead, que es un tema que trata de que Gene Simmons decía que el rock había muerto, y, y, y Brian dice, para él todo es dinero, pero el, el tema es que el rock es sudar, el rock es eh, divertirse, eh, chicas, eh, bares, es un estilo de vida, no es solo hacer dinero. Y sí, si bien el, el rock no está dejando dinero como en otras épocas, eh, 
las, la, los que realmente son rockeros son los que tienen este estilo de vida y no los que hacen dinero. Very good on that one. Eh, your expectations about releasing it, Sleep Rock? What, 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 what are your expectations about this new album? ¿Cuáles son tus expectativas? When I put out an album, I just uh, it's just another phase of our career. It's just uh, something to work for the next couple of months, then I'm on to the next project. So I don't really think too much about it. If it takes off, that's great. I hope for the best, and uh, you know, I don't expect the worst. But uh, you know, we, <laughs> usually things work out pretty good. Good, yeah. Actually, you can only do all, your best. You can only do your best, and. Uh, You know, yeah. go for it. And usually, um, I find that it works out. And rock and roll has been good to me. I got nothing to complain about. I made a living doing it, and I continue making a living doing it. And as long as I can enjoy my music, and uh, you know, being an independent artist gives me a tremendous amount of freedom uh, because I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. Él, él le preguntaba un poquito de eso, de, de, de las expectativas. Dice, mira, yo hago el disco, trato de hacer lo mejor posible. Eh, no te, no, quiero que vaya bien. Tengo expectativas de repente de que vaya bien. Si va mal no sería lo ideal, pero bueno. Este, por suerte hago vivo de esto, sigo viviendo de esto. Y, y bueno, es básicamente lo que, lo que me acuerdo de lo que me dijo. I, I, I'm, I'm really happy that Daryl and, and, and Fritz are still part of the band. And and is oh <laughs> this, is you, a, I, this is atomic atomic <laughs> yeah this is, my, this is my boy he comes in uh, when I'm working on the computer in the morning he comes All up right. absolutely very good very good company and for the stress they are amazing yes my cat and my dog. Oh, you have one and one? My wife sometimes, but she gives me stress. <laughs> anyway, speaking of my wife, I should get going here. <laughs> I've left her alone upstairs. Oh, poor girl. Okay, uh, I, I know you are teaching, right? Okay, let's let's let me give a greeting to your wife. Thank okay. you for for taking care of this man. Okay, mm -hmm. because this man brings joy to many many people. Gracias. You are here. Well, thank you for your support. I really appreciate you having me tonight. Um, yeah. We're going to have to do it again soon. Okay. Okay. And, okay. And if you're yeah. down in Florida, you're going to have to come visit me. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. Do you want to talk about a little bit about, are you still doing uh, the teaching? Are you teaching or not? I'm not teaching right now because uh, we're, we're shut down. We're not allowed to. Oh, I thought you, you were using maybe uh, Zoom or something like that. Excuse me? I thought you were doing on, on, on Zoom or Skype. No, no, no. I can't teach what I teach on Zoom or Skype. I teach Bel Canto, Bel Voce. Bel Canto. And uh, you need to uh, hear the, the student crystal clear. It's not so much um, my gear, it's their gear. Like if I can't hear that, I need to hear the sound of the vowel. You know what a vowel is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you? Because the vowel is the only thing it can resonate. Can you do some bel canto, but so I can understand what is? Uh... Well, it's it's not it's not going to change the sound of my voice. It's just the way it's produced. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, um, you know, I mean, it, it, if you do it properly, it's going to change the sound of your voice. But it would take me two hours to explain here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay for ne next time, you know. Yeah. And and next time we'll devote to the teaching bel canto. Also, I, mean, I am also a teacher. I teach Spanish. Do you really? You can teach me yeah. some Spanish then. Uh, please, yeah, yeah. Whenever you want, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've been teaching Spanish for the last 10 years. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's the second biggest language in the world, correct? It or is. is it, first? it is. Is it the yeah. first or second? I think it's the first. I think yeah. it's the first. Yeah, there's more more people. I thought it was Chinese, and I mean English is, you know, is the the, the world language. Uh, everybody knows, you know, English at least a little bit. The Spanish is uh, um, 
technically the, the the number one. I mean, where more people speak to. So yeah, if you wanna if you wanna learn some Spanish, will be okay. my pleasure. Okay, well, I think you are tired, so I let you go. And thank you for being here. And please tell me when when you are in Florida, so we can connect and maybe I can send you this, so you can sign it. Okay. Okay. All right. That's the deal. Thank awesome. you. Thank you, all my Helix fans out there. I appreciate all of you and your support. Oh, oh one more thing. Uh, two things. Sorry. One is uh, the greeting. Okay. Can you say a green to X level? Uh, can you say that? X level. Level. Uh, yeah, X level. This is Brian Bowler from Helix, and you're listening to X level. Okay. One more time, just in case. Okay. This is Brian Bowler from Helix. We'd like to say hello to X level. And you're going to ask a question to my next guest. Okay. We don't know who's going to be. It's an open question. It could be anything. Does it have to be music related? Okay. Your next you like guest. To... Your next yeah. guest. Very open. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the first part you ever played? The first part you ever played? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. How people can reach you? Uh, through the Pine Helix website. Easy. Okay. okay. Take care, brother. Take okay. care. Thanks for having me. See Bye. you next time, okay? Bye. 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 Okay, vamos con un corte nomás. Ya la volvemos con más. ¡Explos! Mena, Incontax, preparación individual de información.